Biryani is a classic South African dish with many family biryani recipes being handed down from generation to generation, and everyone has their own favorite biryani. Today, we are making a special spiced biryani vegetable dish with a serving of clover classic dairy snack. I don't know if you guys are fans of biryani by any chance. I like any food. You like any food? You just <laughs> like me. <laughs> you, Daniel? If I, I like any like food that Rolene makes. Oh. Okay, oh. well, it's going to be quite a hot <laughs> act to follow after Deli uh, jo Rolene's beautiful flapjack. So I'm going to get started with our dish. What I've got you doing, since you did so well in our first recipe, is I'll have you making the rice for us. And instead of making it as one dish this time, we're doing it separately because we want to sort of layer the biryani. So all you do is be making up the, the rice for us. We've got some rice, some brown red lentils, some spices there as well. If you want to change up the spices, obviously we more than welcome to do that. And then Rolene, you and I are making the actual veg part of our spiced vegetable biryani. So I'm going to ask you just to get started with chopping up the carrots and baby mm. marrow for me. And then I'm going to, in essence, put together what we're all making here by cooking the dish for us. And to start it off, I've got some oil that's going into the pot. You can actually go in with your water as well. Um, I know most people enjoy biryani either as a chicken or meat dish, but we're doing vegetables. Do you think uh, vegetables feature a lot in your, in your cooking, Rolene? Um, I like changing things up. Mm -hmm. um, Daniil always likes a little bit of meat in his in his recipes. Okay. So I always ensure that there's something meaty for him, even <laughs> though I might only eat the vegetables. Okay. Um, but I always like, um, when I make a vegetable meaty dish, mm -hmm. I always try to hide all of the vegetables <laughs> in between for my three boys. But um, yeah, we love eating healthy. I love cooking, so... And yeah. I think a lot of people nowadays are looking to eat a lot more healthier. I mean, with um, the COVID and all of that, people are looking at ways to try and make their dishes go a long way, which is what we've done here with our dish, because it is a vegetable biryani, but it uses a lot of ingredients that you'd normally find in your home. Like we've got carrots, we've got potatoes, and not only is it a fa flavorful dish, it also is quite economical. You know? Yes, I think that's the, the key, to be able to save while you're making healthy food for your family. Very um, that is a win-win scenario. Awesome stuff. And to pair this beautiful biryani, and I know a lot of people like to use sambals and stuff like that, uh, we're also going to be adding a bit of our clover classic dairy snack because we want to, in essence, cool down your tongue after you've had those beautiful spices. So into this dish, we're going to be dolloping a nice, generous serving of our clover classic dairy snack. And I don't know if you know this, Rolene, but it is in essence, made with Clover's unique recipe, giving you a nice creamy and indulgent uh, dairy snack. And because you've mentioned that you cook a lot for your family, it is so convenient because it comes in different sizes. Yesterday, we're using the one kg pack, but it also comes in a 500 gram pack. It comes in 175 gram packs, and it also comes in a six pack of 100 gram packs. And I think for someone like you, who's not always in the kitchen, having a little snack every now and then would be convenient, right? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> How far are you with that? I see you've got a Stirring away on the rice. Um, I'm sure you'll tell me when it's <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, all you've done, if, you, if you're wondering South Africa, Daniel's just added our rice into our pot there. You've got some rice, you've got some of the brown lentils. Mm -hmm. We've also got the spices that we added in there, which is the turmeric and the cumin. You can also go in and add that cinnamon stick because as the, as the rice cooks, that cinnamon releases all that beautiful flavor, mm. making it nice. I've and never done that awesome. before. You should definitely try it because it actually flavors your rice in a way that makes sure that even though you're going to take the cinnamon stick out, that yeah. flavor still stays in your rice. Mm. And so what I'm going to do now, I've started with our onions and our green pepper. I'm adding our spices here, which right now I've just added some curry powder. Normally people would want to grind out their coriander, but I like to add a bit too. Taste a, a bit of a bit like biltong. I know. <laughs> Every now and then a little taste of biltong coming through. I know exactly what you're saying. And into there, as with most biryanis, I'm adding our trio, which is our We've got some onions, we've got some ginger, and I'm adding some garlic as well. And something, because we're talking about budget-friendly recipes, I've added a biryani mix, which is a mixture of spices that, in, the, in essence, instead of having to have a pantry full of ingredients, I've just used one and sort of covered that uh, station in terms of the ingredients we need. And then into this now, I'm going in with our grated or rather chopped tomatoes. Yes. This will be the liquid that binds everything else together. Okay. And then lastly is going to be our peas, but as you know, I want to add these at the very end because I want to make sure that this mixture cooks down. Mm -hmm. Daniel, uh, you've done pretty well. I see that it's coming <laughs> together. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that you've seen how well he can do in the kitchen, I'd like to think you want to incorporate him more. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. We'll see how far I can push it. He mentioned <laughs> that I can't push it too far. 
But I mean, yeah, he's doing really well. Awesome. I think the biggest problem was I didn't trust him in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Not that he couldn't do it. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, on that point then, since you've mentioned how he's done so well, you decided, or rather you made or plated the final dish for us. And I've got the ingredients here. I think I'm gonna just pass it on to you as well to plate the final dish for us now again. Let's try. Let's try, of course, let's try. <laughs> okay, so in essence, once the rice is cooked, this is how it's gonna look. You're gonna have our rice and our lentils cooked down, and then you can make that as the base. If you want to, you can even just layer it up for us, and then you'll add the veggies to that as well. Um, you can actually start plating it up on this beautiful dish over here. Uh -huh. uh, while you're, d while you're doing that, Danielle, I just want to mention as well to South Africa that this beautiful Clover Classic Dairy Snack that we're using here is a great source of 10 vitamins. So, yes, we're putting you hard at work to on this recipe, but it is also good to know that you're incorporating so many nutrients into your dishes whenever you're using this Clover Classic Dairy Snack. This is such an easy recipe, such a simple recipe. I'm just going to add our beautiful Clover Classic Dairy Snack, a nice, generous dollop at the very top. And South Africa, if you want to get your hands on this amazing recipe, all you need to do is go on to afternoonexpress.co.za for the full ingredient list. So, we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover.